Hello, welcome to Chess Prime. As part of this video, we are going to see how to install Python and Jupyter Notebook in Windows 10 or 11 step by step. So basically, to install a Jupyter Notebook, so we need uh, before that prior to that Python and as part of the Python, so we'll be getting the uh, Jupyter Notebook so that we are going to install step by step with the help of Python. So let me start it. So first step is we have to download the python so that you can go to google and python download you can try and you will be getting the first link try to open that link and we are into download section and you can see the latest version what's available currently so when i'm trying to make this video we can see 3.12.3 so this is the latest version and which is compatible to a windows right so you can download this package so in my case i have already downloaded and let me show you so you can see here python 3 12 3 so this is the package i have already downloaded in my machine so i will try to install it so and the same link i will provide in the video description you can take it out so to install this one so you just try to double click and then you can see here there is a two options you will, you will be getting over here install now and it will try to install in the c drive by default in case if you don't want this location then you can go to customize location and then you can select the location whichever the place you are interested so in my case i want to install this one into d drive so let me go to d drive and software so i am going to keep it over here so basically i am trying to create a folder called python and inside that i want to install it so let me come back here and you can give the path as per your wish so this is the location i want to initialize it basically i'm trying to customize the location i'm not giving directly so if, if you come back here so i'm trying to give the customized location and next so this is the location i'm trying to give and then click on install so it will install python first into your software python location and you can see over here all the corresponding libraries by it is trying to install into python folder so once the installation is done so then we have to do the sum of the path or environment variable setup so that's the next step so that we are going to see it still the installation is not completed so we have to wait for a minute Still the installation is going on once the installation is done and we can see now the setup was successfully completed so we can close this and we can ignore this and disable the path or length uh, limit in, in case if you have the installation location is more than 260 so you can enable or disable this one accordingly based on the location of the installation path so now I'm going to ignore it and close it so the first step is download is now completed and installation is completed now the third step is we have to set up the path so the first one is we have to take this path wherever the installation is done then go to environment variable and come back here so basically you have to add this location the python location into your environment variable especially into the path so i am going to add at the system environment variable location directly so that it will be useful wherever we are trying to use it right so let me click on path and edit so i am going to add as a new variable over here so click on ok and similarly if you want you can add a specific to user as well and this is the entire system level and this entire specific to user level so let me add at both the place but it's ideally it is not required if you add it over here but i'm going to add it over here as a new paste it python done okay so now the first step is done so environment variable setup so let me verify that one so what kind of uh, python i have installed it so you can run this command python space 
iPhone iPhone version. So then we can see over here three dot twelve dot three. So this is the version of the Python we have installed. We can see over here three dot twelve dot three. So we can see three dot twelve dot three. So this is the first step. So now we have installed the Python. So the next step is we have to use our the Jupyter notebook which is available inside your Python. So if you see here, right? So so we have a scripts under Python. So by using the scripts, we can able to download the Jupyter notebook. So that is the second step. So for this, what you have to do, you have to set up the path. So we are going to use a pip and from that we are going to download the Jupyter notebook. So for this again you have to add the path into your environment variable. I am trying to add the system level so that it will be useful for all the users. Or if you are interested a specific to use it you can add it on the user level. So come back here, add it, add it over here, close it, close it. So now the scripts or pip also it's available at the environment level. Now we can go to pip hyphen hyphen version. So basically what we are trying to do over here. So you can see the pip version what we are trying to install in your machine. So basically it is trying to use the 24.0 so this is the uh, installed version as part of the uh, default which came into the python so the next step is we are going to install the a jupyter notebook with the help of pip so how to install that one so to install that one what you have to do you have to use the pip command so the pip we have already verified it's recognizing and we can see the version also now to install the jupyter you have to use the pip install and then followed by what model you want to install it so that you have to type it so basically we are trying to use zip pip and then install and we are trying to install the jupyter so then press enter So it will try to download the Jupyter related modules into your machine. So Jupyter is required to open the Jupyter notebook. So this is the second step. With the help of Python, we are going to use the pip and we will be downloading the Jupyter related libraries. Once the installation is done, then we can verify the Jupyter notebook version also, which version of the Jupyter it got installed. So that we will verify it. It will take a, it will take a couple of minutes to install all these modules, all these related packages, what we are seeing over here. So till that we just need to wait for that. So basically what it will do, it will try to download all the collected packages what we are seeing over here, right? So it will download everything which is required to work your Jupyter Notebook. Still not completed. Yes. So now we can see this installation is completed. In case if you want to see the which version of Jupyter it got installed, so we can see it very easily. Jupyter space iPhone iPhone version. So basically, it is trying to collect all the Jupyter related versions which is got installed. We can see these are the libraries or which is available as part of the Jupyter uh, server. And we can see many IPython, IPCal kernel, uh, 
so these are the different models which is required to run the Jupyter notebook right so now the second step is done so the first step install the Python is done and the second step downloading the Jupyter notebook with the help of pip command which is available inside the Python this is done now the third step is now we have to open the Jupyter notebook finally right so Jupyter notebook so to open the Jupyter notebook what you have to do we have to start the Jupyter server for that one we have to create a folder so basically I'm just trying to create a folder so that whatever the files I'm trying to create later so that will be stored over here right so you can just open the command window so basically I'm trying to use this location to store my files related to the Jupyter notebook right so to open the Jupyter notebook so we need to start the Jupyter server so how to start the Jupyter server so for that one we have to use the Jupyter space Jupyter space notebook so you can type this one and press enter so it will start the Jupyter server into the specific location with the related supporting files and then we can see the Jupyter notebook as well so now we can see over here so your Jupyter server is running under localhost 8883 and we can see UI so this is the way you can able to access your Jupyter notebook so now your server is running now we need to open Jupyter notebook so how to open that one we will see it over here so open over here notebook we can select this one file new notebook and then it will open a Jupyter notebook so from here you will get a small pop-up so what we have to select here which version of Python you should use as part of your Jupyter notebook so we are going to use the latest one what is currently it is showing and then select so now your Jupyter notebook is open so if you want to verify this one I am just going to write a simple statement here so I'm trying to print a simple statement in the Jupyter and then by using the print you can run it and we can see the output <coughs> so as part of the next video we will be seeing how to use this Jupyter notebook I'll create a separate video from that you will be understanding how to use all these options which is available inside the Jupyter notebook but as of now we have installed the Python and pip command by using the pip command we are installed the uh, Jupyter notebook and we can able to access the console and we can able to run the simple print statement as well in the Jupyter notebook I think uh, that's all about uh, this video if you like the video you can uh, subscribe to the channel for more subsequent updates and thank you thank you so much